up. Happy Father's Day. I hope y'all having a wonderful Father's Day out there. And um, that's on a bad note. Uh, today, uh, Rodney King has passed away at the age of 47. His fiance found him at the bottom of the pool in his California home, 55 miles away from L.A., where he got beaten back in 91, where a riot broke out. And it's kind of sad to see that he's dead and gone. Like, they, uh, the force, the police don't know what was the cause of death. All they said was that, uh, his girlfriend, his fiance, told TMZ that he spent the bulk of Saturday drinking and smoking weed before they went to bed at 2 a.m. Before she went to bed at 2 a.m., then the and she woke up and she found him at the bottom of the swimming pool. Now, she called the police and, uh, they got, she, they call, she called the police and they came, they came, the call was responded, the police was uh, responded at a call to 5.25 a.m. in the morning where they pulled King out of the pool and started doing CPR and, and they couldn't revive him. Now, this is kind of sad to see that this man was get, trying to get clean and he didn't get clean and of his drinking problems and it's kind of sad to see him going after Tate after getting beaten because of a because he was drinking and driving this is back in 91 where March uh, was back in, uh, I think it was like March 31st so I'm like, it's March, I know it's in March 1991, where he was driving on the influence. March 3rd, 1991, when somebody filed, filmed this, and the officers hit him 56 times with the wooden baton. And he said, I just got lucky that night to have a guy used to sit there and say, I was just lucky tonight to have a camera on me. Uh, no, that was all right in King, but... But in, in April, marks marking the 20th anniversary of the L.A. riots. Now, this is saying that this man got beaten in 91 because he was driving under DUI and I know whatever people say well he deserved it I don't think people pulling over a person doesn't matter if you're black, white, Hispanic or Chinese any color and then no policeman has the right to beat a man with the baton if the person is unarmed and it started the LA riot anyway and I was like that's kind of messed up so if, the, if the people if the police officers the police officers think before their act then it wouldn't cause such an uproar see if those police officers would have uh, would have sat there and think about what they was doing before they even start beating him maybe LA wouldn't have that problem California would never have that big ass riot back in 91 um, see it's the same thing down in Florida right now with the whole Zimmerman case now, like y'all see some of the videos I did about the Zimmerman case with Trayvon Martin. I said, if they let him go, it'd be just like the Rodney King case. It's going to be an uproar in Florida if they let Zimmerman walk the street. If they find Zimmerman not guilty, he will be able to walk the street and people will uproar down to Florida. People need to take, like, police officers the police department any police department needs to sit there and think before they act because one thing is they don't want another Rodney King incident where an uproar somewhere of people rioting rising in the streets looting and shit and that's how it is but it's sad to see that this man set a milestone to show the world to show the word his story will go in the history books his stories are in the history books now that 
and I bet they tell the officers that goes it's like whatever you do don't pull a Rodney King beating because we're not trying to be like the other those police officers to beat him he said a milestone that popo like police ain't shit he really showed the world that it doesn't matter if you are drinking or not no it doesn't no, well it shows that it doesn't matter what color you are or what neighborhood you in you're gonna get beat I'll sit there and on YouTube and watch videos man of people getting beat by the police I've seen an 80 year old woman get slammed to the ground by a police officer a police woman and the police bust this old lady's head open he set a milestone for people especially in the black communities it's like police ain't shit but it's like oh y'all you bringing up the black folks and all this and that I know I'm just saying this man set a milestone for everyone people need to take take notes like you need to realize something this man showed the world what the police can do that you need to have a camera like the guy that filmed it like you give props to, like you show right he, he set a milestone because he got did wrong he was in the wrong but he got did wrong second thing is thank God for the guy that was there with the camera <laughs> because one thing is if the guy wasn't there with the camera and didn't catch what happened then it would have been much worse but it's like this though ladies and gentlemen no matter what if you get pulled over by a police officer make sure you have camera on you so you can have something to back you back yourself up with <laughs> but it's sad to see that this man is dead and gone on father's day that's the that's the worst thing is that he passed away on father's day that's somebody's daddy that's somebody's daddy. Now that's bad business when your father dies on Father's Day. There's no more Happy Father's Days. There's no Merry Christmas. There's no Happy Birthdays. There's no Happy Valentine's Day. None of that. Well, I know one thing is everybody's going to, everybody remember his story. Everybody remember his story. Even I remember his story, man. That happened ninety in ninety one. You gotta think. I was like seven years old, ninety one. Seven years old in ninety one. It's been twenty years, seven years old. I was seven years old in ninety one, and when he got beaten, when this whole incident went down, and it's sad that this man is dead and gone. And it's bad business, man. And it's bad business. He's he's there. I'm gonna put the story in the description box, man. I want y'all to check it out, man, because I think we do need to pay this man respect. Y'all must have seen him on Celebrity Rehab, uh, Sober House, or because I really felt bad for this man. Like he went to like he's like I believe don't believe in reality shows, but I'm knew that this dude needs help I know he needs help because after that beating it got worse it didn't help him whatsoever and that's how it is man that beating that he caught 91 really did not help him whatsoever with his problems but it's but it's like this though man this man left a mark in the history books he left a mark where people need to realize man that, that I'm telling you this doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what color your skin is doesn't matter what's your gender doesn't matter what your sexuality is that you're gonna get beaten by the police every day this happened every this, Police beatings happens every day. Every day there's a police officer beating an innocent person. It just it was this his story was the first story that ever hit. 
that they caught on cam the police abusing their power y'all better be getting down on your hands and knees and kissing his ass because he deserved that he showed the world he showed the world that hey man they abused their powers y'all need to play close instead of shaking hands with the popos y'all need to real think about it y'all need to think about what y'all who y'all putting your trust in because if it wasn't for that incident nobody would never know that the police officers abused their badge and it still goes on today I'm telling you there's a channel uh there's a channel I want uh it's called abuse uh, uh officers or cops abuse police abuse or something like that like you go up there and you go up on YouTube and you look that shit up there's actually a channel like police bu brutality you look that shit up man I bet you you'll find nothing but videos of people getting beaten by by police officers they even show that on what uh, to catch a uh, caught on tape they even shows show this shit on caught on tape caught on tape and they show it but I but I tell you this though man he didn't deserve to get beaten that day and I I feel like I said I feel kind of, I feel bad that he's gone because he he changed history. He was in the tell he told he showed the world, hey man, doesn't matter if you're black, white, Chinese, whatever, you don't get your ass whipped by popos. But I'm glad that he got to live to see a black president though. I'm glad that uh I'm glad that he left a mark on in the history books. Because if it wasn't for him, then we wouldn't really know what was gonna gonna happen. Because anybody could have said, "Oh, this police officer beat me." They would say, "You got any evidence?" Then your story wouldn't be shit. Nobody wouldn't know that police abused their powers. Because if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't know. Now we know that this man said so. And that's how it is. Like I said, I'm glad that I got to. I'm like, cause like I said, man, I go on YouTube and I'm always watching videos and I'm always watching videos about police brutality and all this and that, cause I'm always watching it. And I'm always, like I said, I'm always watching it. I'm always sitting up there looking at channels where this happens because people don't know this really happens on the daily nobody knows what happens in when they can easily turn off a dash cam and turn it back on but this man really showed the world man I, like I said I feel bad for his family though for his kids for his girl for his fiance because he really had a rough life ever ever since that ass whooping he caught he really had a rough life because I, I like how do you bounce back from that ass whooping that's the question how do you bounce back you can't bounce back that's how I see you cannot bounce back from getting beaten by a police officer you really can't you really can't cause I sat there <laughs> Because cause I was in situations where, I'll tell you this, this happened to me when I was... I'll tell you this, that I lived uh, when I was young, when I was in my teens. Me and my couple of friends were waiting on the school bus. Standing on the corner waiting on the school bus. Uh, so we were sitting there and this me and one of my friends were 18 and we were sitting there smoking a the cigarette. We were smoking a cigarette. Next thing you know was the police rolls up on us and we think we got all paranoid on and scared because we thinking that the the police was gonna beat us because we're underage and we're black. And I was the like there was a few light skinned like I was light skinned, a few other people was light skinned. A few of my friends was light skinned. And we was very scared. Then he's like, Are you contributing tobacco products to minors? We said no. 
but I'm gonna put the police brutality uh, channel in the description box too because y'all can go there and watch many videos of people getting beat up by the abused by the police every day <laughs> but I tell you this though man me and my friends were so nervous and so scared because we thought he was gonna beat us because he was saying as if I fired because he was dead serious and he looked us looked at me and my friend that was that was also 18 too and he looked at us he said if I ever catch y'all contributing tobacco products to minors I'm gonna arrest both of you both of y'all asses we were scared man we got our ID and next thing you know it was a week later we sitting on the bus stop waiting on the bus again me and a friend was sitting up there it was 18 too. I was 18. He was 18. It's my friend Brian. Got arrested. So he's dead now. But uh, we saw this Latino go to the car wash because the car wash was right there on the on the same corner where, where's our bus stops. We went to go see this Latino's car. Me and another friend and Brian. So we was walking back to the bus stops. My friend Brian had his hands in his pockets. Next thing you know, is before the bus pulls up, a police car comes out of nowhere. And he points at uh, us. He said, you. And we didn't know who it was. Me, Brian, and another friend stopped in our tracks. Then the bus pulled up. Our other friends got on the bus. It was just three of us standing there, frozen. Didn't know what to do. He said, you. He looked at my other friend and said, you, get on the bus. You. And he looked at me and said, me, him? He said, not you. You. He looked at my friend Brian. He said, come here. And he, my friend went over there, and he was patting down my friend. He threw him up the, against the cop car, and the five more, four more cop cars come out of nowhere. They was patting him down. Was patting him down, and the only thing they found on him was a wallet, some lunch money, a lighter, and a pencil. A pencil. He found nothing but a lighter because we both smoked at the time smoked cigarettes not weed but we was both smoking cigarettes at the time and we just got done smoking a cigarette and it was like minutes after and we couldn't figure out why we why he was getting searched and nothing like that and they and one thing was they thought he was we were selling drugs on the corner and if people saw us get on the bus somebody had to call the police on us they see six black kids sitting on the street corner waiting on the school bus so somebody called the police on us and it was kind of bad six black kids waiting for a school bus getting harassed by the police twice and that's how it is man see incidents like this happens man people just don't know it people just don't realize it like I said, man, it happens on a daily basis, man. People get abused by police officers on a daily basis because they think, because the police officers think because they wear a badge, they think they're high and mighty. So there's some good ones out there. I give props to the ones that are good ones, the ones that are going to sit out there and protect us, not going to abuse us and, because they think they uphold the law. But you gotta get, but one thing is, man, you, to see him, that's bad, 47 years old and they found him in the pool. That's bad. Now, this has been Afro Joe, y'all follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2 and CeeLo Jr. 3. And I'll holla at you. Happy Father's Day. Make sure you show your father some love. Peace, love, have fun. Rest in peace, Rodney King.